Greetings and welcome back to Drasir TMD. My name is Drasir and you're watching Space Engineers Survival. That's right, here we are in the very scenic looking... Uh, ooh, ooh, what's that? That's gross. It's, it's, it's vile, it's not finished, it's just a whirly majig and it's... <laughs> so, as you can see, I have been busy. Ah, ah, some of you may or may not remember... Oop, there's a pane of glass there. Um, that I was planning on putting in a hole in the base through one of the sections that led up to kind of a command center slash observation tower, which is what this is going to be when it's done. But as I was working on it, I was like, you know, some people might want to see my process, or at least kind of see some of what is happening as I'm making it, so I won't go too far before I uh, start recording, which is what I'm doing right now. You may also notice that I have gathered together all armies unto me, and by all armies I mean basically every vehicle I own is now at the main base. Behold the Rhino. My stuff, I should say. Behold my stuff. Uh, the Rhino, the Orc, the Behemoth, the... Gosh, there was a kind of beetle that I was going to name it after. It was a suggestion by... Daniel Nagel, I believe. Um, I cannot remember the name of it. Unfortunately, still not overhauled, still missing a support structure thing right here, which is bad because it could fall off and die at any time. I'm actually thinking of, oh gosh, of redesigning this thing so that it doesn't have these tipped, like the, the the sections that are kind of tipped over like that and the reason is is those two points right there are too much of a potential damage you know a, a potential area that could get damaged very easily if any of these voxels get deformed there's a high likelihood they'll actually damage the blocks around them and for some reason it looks like damage actually translates through blocks if uh, some of the damage that's happened while I've been testing various things is anything to go by. So thinking that having these two anchor points, it's not a good idea. I mean, they're, they're made of con uh, conveyor, uh, conveyor tubes. That's not good. Those aren't very armored at all. It seems a waste to have all this armor and then it ha being held by two very weak sections on either side. Um, I've been breaking things down, obviously. The, the towers that used to be that here that had the wind what do they call those? Turbines. The turbines on them. I moved and I added a uh, fifth one to the top, so we've got a little bit more power. 
The solar tower I'm going to leave where it is until I've decided if and where I'm going to put an actual solar tower. I might build another observation tower type thing. Not necessarily as wide as I have where I've drilled it here. Why am I, why am I walking when I can be flying in style? Um, this is supposed to be wide enough for either to use a lift system, which I might install, or a uh, very long set of stairs, which would be annoying to get up and down, but oh well. I might just add another tower back a bit that is drilled up to the top, but only with one section. So it's enough to be connected to the base. And then the tower itself can be built out a little bit, probably very similar to the one that I've got over um, on the secondary base. I call it a secondary base. It's really at the moment just a storage facility. Um, it's got uh, nickel and magnesium? Question mark? I don't even remember what I was mining over there. Um, but that's about it. Man, I'm doing a lot of rambling and not a lot of doing. So let me, uh, let me stop myself there. And uh, I will continue what I was actually doing, which was designing this this room basically what I had started doing here was kind of and I can show you on this section uh, connecting these points up here in a bit of a haphazard fashion this is usually how I end up kind of um, doing uh, I guess you could call it greebling just sort of trying things and hoping that it works oh yes oh yes that looks champion Let's see here. So, oh, I apparently missed a spot right there. That's not at all surprising. So yeah, all I'm wanting to do here is just kind of round it out, make it look like it all belongs. Most of this down here is going to be, is going to remain stone wall, but the tower itself is going to be filled out pretty much with steel plates and so on to give it some strength but when it comes to brute strength I'm afraid I'm at the shallow end of the gene pool you know for the longest time I thought he said dream pool not gene pool I guess that's what happens when you're a kid and you're like I don't know what they're saying I'm just gonna make up whatever I think it is and then your friends are all like what did you just say? Nothing. Nothing at all. You know, I said I should really like watch my hydrogen and I haven't actually looked at it since I started doing this. So if I fall from this height, I will probably die. Oh, you know what I just realized? This is actually pretty pointless. It's it literally, it's going to be a something to observe the lake because you can't see past this hill unless you're up here where the meat grinders are how far up do you have to go to get a decent view Oof. actually the best place for an observation tower is actually over here but that's quite a ways away and i'm not drilling all that way just to do that but we can do separate things it can have its own battery pack and everything and be kind of an isolated little outpost right next to the base but still why am i running i could be flying oh 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 uh, down 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 to the ground down to the ground down to the ground down to the ground there we go okay whoo 17 hydrogen left i didn't forget it completely but i totally forgot it Let's see if we can yoop, over here fantastic running 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 Oh, see, now I'm torn. Do I want to have glass that goes all the way up, or do I want it staggered? I want this to feel a bit more... a bit more defended, uh, beefy, I guess. It's going to have these going all the way up anyway, so let's go ahead and just install these while we're... whoops, while we're here. I think for me, half the fun of this game is the sort of designing things. Um, I wouldn't say I'm very good at it, but I do enjoy it. Yeah, I kind of like the way that looks. Oh, actually though, what's going to happen when it gets to here? That's going to be a very sudden... Oh, I guess I could do it... Oh, I think I have an idea. 
can actually have a bit of a lip that sits out there. I like that. Okay. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> oh, me indecisive. Oh, you know what I should also do? I should put guns on the one on each of these sides and then maybe like on top have a uh, a bit like the um, the tank a missile turret at the top here because this isn't going to stay here um, these wind turbines they are temporary I want to use solar power mostly because I just like the way it looks I could put some windows at the top here so yeah, that's basically what I've been working on. Uh, just kind of going back and forth and building things. This is essentially going to be the floor. So let's go ahead and make this the floor. You know, now that I think about it, I believe it's been a uh, little while since I actually took you guys through how I'm going about building things. I've gotten to a point now where it's like, well, you've seen me build stuff before. Let me just show you what I did. Um, let me know if you would prefer to actually see the building process in the future for things like this, because I don't know what all you guys want unless you tell me. Um, some people have had have given me feedback, you know, ideas about uh, various vehicles and stuff like that, and I really appreciate that. Thank you for getting back to me uh, on those things, because if I don't know, I can't do anything about it. So. Uh, Please, do do give me some suggestions. Just all I ask is keep it friendly, you know? All right. Uh, oh, and now I have to... Oh, gosh. This is going to drive me nuts because I've got the windows set up in such a way... Oh, I can't see it from here. I'm pretty sure it's flat that way. So let's continue that uh, tradition, shall we? Windows are our speciality. Uh girders. I'm gonna need some girders. Okay, so I think that's the correct orientation. Oh, I hope it's the right one. There's one. Oh, just one on that side, okay. Alright. I think that looks uh kind of stupid, but <laughs> that's, that's what we've got for the time being. Um, oh, but if I do have guns on the outside, ah, they're going to have to be piped up and that's going to get in the way of everything. Hmm, maybe I won't gun these up. I will, I will think about it and uh, decide from there. That antenna is bothering me, so I'm going to move it. Thor, you're bothering me. Oh, <laughs> I just realized I'm plonking that on the one section that we can see. So if I put it on the back here, it won't matter so much that some of the view is obstructed. But let's go ahead and put it near the Let's actually put it down a little bit, shall we? How far down can it go before it gets... Okay, this will do then. And there we have it. Brand new antenna for the observation base thingy. I probably could have put it on top, I suppose. <laughs> that does look ridiculous. It's literally pointing right into the ground. It doesn't look like it'll pick up any signals there. All right, I'll move it, but not right now, because I don't want to have to do it. At this exact moment, over the next 10 episodes, I need to make a start on and hopefully complete a similarly size, similar in size to the Behemoth mobile base. So I've seen a couple of designs that I like that have um, bases on these like large moving struts. I think one of them in particular was done by Wasted Space. It's a really good design, but it was back before Planets was even a thing. And I don't know if he ever made one similar. It actually looked like it had a sim similar mechanism to either 
I believe it was Opportunity. The uh, the Mars Rover Opportunity. No, sorry. Curiosity. Opportunity was the one that was the twin of... Uh, opportunity and... Uh, spirit. Uh, opportunity and Spirit. For some reason I keep thinking it ends in itty, like all the other ones do. You know, Opportunity, Curiosity, Spirit. And it doesn't. I'm just an idiot. That's... that's uh... <laughs> Gosh, I am rambling a whole lot right now. Probably should get on with some actual work. Oh, that's right, back to the mobile base. Uh, mobile base... Uh... I'm not going to do a strut design quite like uh, the one I saw, Wasted Space and others, I just can't remember who the other people were who've done them. I'm actually going to go for the tank route. And what I mean by that is I'm going to have a bunch of wheels sat close together with two rows, one running down one side and one running down another side. Oh, actually Splitsy made a really good one um, in small blocks. Mine's going to be in big blocks because I want it to carry um, some big base stuff. It's not going to be much. It's just going to be enough to, to get me going. So it would probably have two refineries, two assemblers, um, some H2O2 generation, a medical bay, obviously, and will probably have the ability to haul some components. Not a lot, but enough that I've got some things to work with when I get to the moon launch base, launch area. Tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and make some progress on this tower, and then maybe we will actually start getting the big base mobile thing, a concept of it at least, uh, <laughs> rolling. Uh, heck, let's do that now, shall we? Now I don't know if I'm going to make the entire thing out of heavy armor, but I'm certainly going to make the core, actually it's going to have twin cores effectively, um, be made out of heavy armor because I want it to be... Ah! There's a slope right here! There's a snake in my boots! I've not been collecting unknown signals in a while. So let's go and get one. Ooh, a leopard welder. Nine. X. Lift off. Gear up. Yeah. <laughs> There's no chance of me being demonetized, number one, because it's not a monetized video anyway, and number two, because that was awful. I apologize to everybody involved. I apologize to my parents. I'm sure they're frighteningly disappointed in me right now. In fact, anybody who knows me is probably denying that they do right about now. Okay, what was I doing? That's right, I was in the making of... Well, let's see. Let's see if... How many am I going to need? I want to do five at least on the bottom. Oh my, this thing is going to be massive. It's going to be bigger than the Behemoth by a country mile. Certainly going to be bigger than this because if I'm, if I'm doing five wheels... See, that's exactly what I was afraid of. That's okay. That's okay. What we can do is basically make a second line that will be much, uh, that will be tall enough to, oops, to make it work. Oh, I wonder if actually I should have them stuck together. Well. Yeah, this thing is going to be horrendously big. But that's okay. That's what we want. And the reason I want it to be big is I want ground clearance. I want it to be able to roll over crags. 
um, without too much issue. Um, it won't obviously be able to just bridge chasms like there's no tomorrow, but it would at least be able to go over rougher terrain than most vehicles of its size. So what I'm actually going to want to do here is I'm going to place half blocks Oops. along here. I'm sure I do half block and then one of these. Yeah, let's do that. Give it a bit of a... Ah, you know what? Just for safety's sake, I almost would rather do... Okay, let's do regular blocks to begin with. I will work on making it look different. If I've done my homework, if I break this off, this side piece should be okay. Phew! <laughs> I was actually worried there for a second. All right. So hopefully now you can see what I was trying to talk, trying to tell you uh, before. I've also realized that I've done this backwards. I meant for this to be the front, but I've done all the, the <laughs> right side ones on this side. So this is the right now. This is the left. Ah, no fuel. Let's see. What was I saying? Uh, left and right. Oh, and also there's going to be more tires, more wheels at the front. Um, to absorb any impacts from sort of higher sections of to sort of lead up into you know like raised up one or two to um, ensure that I don't you know break everything when I'm going over bumps So what I'm doing here is obviously raising the front set of wheels up enough to make it easier for the top to absorb impacts more at the front than you know at the bottom. What I'm building here across the middle should serve well enough for the backbone structure. Uh, and then I can start building the rest in uh, light armor blocks, just enough to make it solid in its essentials is really all I was looking for. <laughs> it would actually be kind of funny if I made this two separate vehicles that could split apart. I'm not going to do that, but uh, maybe an idea for a future build. And then quite literally, we're going to have a spinal section that goes down the middle. Maybe now would be a good time, if any, to uh, decide to use some modded technology. However, as far as the uh, build and repair system is concerned, which is one I do want to install at some point, um, it's, it's one of those ones that's on the higher end of the technology scale. Um, I don't even know where it would fall in between, like, you know, advanced weapons and um, shields and so on. But it's pretty high up the list, and I'm not sure in what order to add things, and when, even. Um, I could just 
add them whenever I like, but I kind of wanted to make it a little bit of a progression. So I've gotten quite a lot done. There wasn't really anything interesting to show you. Um, it was literally just me running around placing blocks and welding blocks. It's taken a while. I don't really have much of a system to, to weld these things. The saint just can't get into the under, you know, underneath the, the truck there because there's wheels in the way and everything. Could have taken them out and re-added them, but I didn't. Um, and so most of this has been done by hand and kind of what I was doing was uh, mostly loading up the Rhino and taking it over to a connector which I quickly dropped onto the uh, the base there to uh, to build the, the other thing I want to build. I'm getting to a point though where I'm like, you know what I could just do, and I've done this before, is build out a whole bunch of connecting pipes that actually connect up to this system and use the um, trick of building a welder, a big grid welder to weld up some of this stuff. And I've got here two cargo containers, which will just have whatever we're bringing with us, um, two sets of assemblers, um, two refineries fully kitted out. Um, I just need to sort of build them up and obviously make sure they're all piped up. I just haven't uh, got that far yet. Um, <clears throat> It's the it's the next day for me. Um, I I stopped recording and started again this morning, and uh, yeah, it's I'm I'm getting to a point now where I've I've been building for so long that it's kind of I'm starting to lose my mind a little bit. So I'm going to take a quick break from it, um, and I'm going to go do something fun. And I think something fun would be for us to load up. And I'm pretty sure I don't have any ammo for this at the moment. I don't uh, load up the scout, the kestrel, and go poke at some uh, bases that are nearby. At the very least, I want to go see what we're up against, because I, I don't actually know. How could we be missing magnesium? Oh! Oh, right! For some reason I was thinking we were getting magnesium out of the stone, but of course we're not. It's just uh, silicon, nickel, and iron. The magnesium was the whole reason I built that first mine. Now it makes more sense. I was like, why Why do I have so much... Of course, yes. And the nickel and the silicon was the one that was... No, no. Where is the base? Where is the base? I'm getting confused. I'm confused. That's the ice mine. That must be it there. So yeah, the nickel and silicon was superfluous, but the magnesium was the stuff that I needed to get in particular. Which means I'm going to have to take, I think I'll just take the, the orc on a run to get some magnesium. Ah, uh, sweet orc. How I love thee. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at some of the bases that are around. We're not going to go anywhere near any of the flying ones just yet because some of them are really dangerous. I mean, some of the bases are really dangerous too, but there are ones like the one you saw before, the Observation Tower, or whatever it was called. Um, that didn't turn out to be much of a challenge at all. Okay. That looks like my... Oh! What? <laughs> um, uh -huh. he says, and yet, you know, I died. Okay, and we should have plenty of magnesium in here because that's what we were drilling the entire time. So let's search for magnesium. It's just a quick run to the store, effectively. Got to be careful of all this debris here as I try to make my way back. Let's just kind of circle through here. There we go. Awesome. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get ourselves armed up on the Kestrel, and we're going to go take a look. That's what that ship is for, is to go take a look at things and uh, scout them out. Now, unfortunately, the gun that we have, that's going to be... Oh, no, we've got cameras. That's why we put the cameras on. Never mind. I was about to start going off about how it's upside down and you can't see properly. Blah, blah, blah. But that's why we put the cameras on. Medium cargo container can have 30. The 
Gatling guns have been loaded up. Very nice. So, the forward-facing guns have been loaded. The, uh, the defense gunner gun, whatever you want to call that, has been loaded. Um, I just need to set up some things on the hotbar, I think. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'll be back once I'm done. All right, so we got some stuff on the hot hot bar uh, sorted out. Oop, let's bring up the landing gear so it makes it a little bit easier to maneuver. Oh, what happened? Did I hit something? Did I run out of power? No, I got three hours. What happened? Oh no, the uh, the middle... Oh wow, it got really badly damaged, but why? Has it been getting damaged this whole time I didn't realize it? Is it because it's so close? Oh my, um, okay, hang on, let's not panic here. Let's, uh, let's get the parts we need. Go ahead and raise ourselves back up while we're at it, actually. Man, this thing took a beating as well. Goodness gracious. I don't understand what happened. I'll have to review the footage, but I mean, your view was my view. I, I didn't see anything. Okay. We seem to be all squared away. Just make sure nothing else is damaged while we're at it. Actually, you know, if if I was a real aviator, I would have done a pre-flight and, you know, checked all my systems before I... Uh, see, even that was damaged somehow. But maybe that was in the fall. But it's... Uh, mm, gosh, I don't understand. Let us go ahead and recompile. Okay, that's back on standby, so we take it off of standby. I'm going to activate the thrusters. Okay, and whilst it's still in the air but slightly off the ground, let's check and make sure that these haven't been damaged again just by activating. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, everything seems to be 5x5. Five five. Okay, the gear are up. They don't seem to be interfering with the craft, so I don't think it was that. Because that's what I did. I pressed the the, um, the the gear to raise, and then it suddenly went crazy. All right. Well, since we're pointing in this direction as the closest one, let's go check this signal out, which is an observation outpost. Is that the same as the one that we just took down before? I wonder if there's a way to, once you've defeated one in a certain area, um, no more will appear in that area so that you don't have to keep fighting things over and over again, because otherwise I'm going to go back to base and another one might just appear in this place when I'm done with... Whoop, I just realized uh, I'm about a kilometer out and I don't want to be any closer than that. So let's use the uh, port side camera to have a quick look. Ooh, so it has one large turret on the top, it has several interior turrets on the bottom. That large grid turret has got more range than I do, so at a range of 800 um, meters, it will be able to fire at me. So let's leave that one alone for now. This is a, a supply cache. Ooh, I like supplies. Turn to the side here. Port side camera. So that one I can't see very well. It's a very small grid. I don't see any weapons on that one at all. Which makes me wonder. Something that's undefended, a supply cache, I can see being something that's booby trapped. So let's get out of there. Let's, uh, let's go in for a closer look. Nothing has happened so far. But my gun has decided to start taking pot shots. Okay, so geared down. 
Let's go ahead and land this puppy. Land the little puppy. Such a good little puppy. Oh, and I just realized that um, I apparently had damaged this and I didn't even think to repair it. Fortunately, I had enough spare parts left over for that. So this gun... I actually want to make sure the range is its maximum. So why didn't it start firing sooner? Was it because I was pointing slightly in the wrong direction? Okay. Um, I'm actually going to go back into here. I basically want to leave all the stuff I care about here. I am going to take my small amount of parts, my gun, and we're going to go on foot. The reason I'm uh, parked so far away... Okay, good, it's got the signal going. Uh, the reason I parked so far away is I don't want this thing to have like I don't know, a, uh, a warhead in it. It looks like it's a large grid, so if it's a large grid warhead, it almost certainly will wreck my face. It's got a beacon. It's got a door. No unauthorized access. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I, this, this looks like a... It's a trap! To me. Well, just for funsies, let's see what happens if the beacon is destroyed. Wow, either I'm a really bad shot, or that thing has a lot of... Dude, I guess I didn't bring much ammunition with me. Well, fortune favors the foolish, I suppose. Right there. Interesting. So I was able to open the door. I was able to, because it they both said open. It makes me wonder if there's it's kind of a 50-50 chance as to which one will actually open it. It was a 10 second timer on the warhead. If it was going to go off when I opened the door, it would have gone off. If it was going to go off when I drew, uh, broke down the um, the crate, it would have gone off. So that is now my beacon. Um, I'm going to take a moment to check this out. So, battery, button panels, control station, corner LCDs, door, programmable block, sensor, timer, warhead. The warhead is definitely armed. I've already taken everything I can out of this, so let's... Okay, so whatever is in here is buried in the ground. If I start digging, I'm almost certain to, uh, to set this off. So for right now, I managed to get some uranium, which was kind of nice. That means I can build more missiles. Um, and I didn't blow up. That is amazing. Um, <laughs> Fortune does favor the fool when he doesn't get blown up. Okay, what else can we see around here? I 
I was certain there was something else over here that maybe just be out may just be outside my range at the moment. Yeah, something seven kilometers away over there, which I'm not uh, really interested in. Some various signals of my own that apparently I've. It was that one. Oh, sweet loots. That's close to where the original base was. There is a unknown signal in that direction. May as well go grab that. Ooh, discovered that we got a leopard drill. I'm getting a lot of leopard stuff. Do you just get stuff in the order that they... You know, because I got a lot of badger things for a while, now I'm getting a lot of leopard stuff. Is, is that what it is? Once you've filled out one set, it starts giving you more stuff from a different set? I mean, if that's true, that's great. That means we won't get as many doubles. I already checked that. Um, I forgot what I was actually going to do. I said I was going to check something. Yeah, the, the thrusters seem to be fine. They're moving around. They're not... I must have clipped it. I must have somehow hit the thruster without realizing it as I went through. But it doesn't make sense as to why I wouldn't have... Why I wouldn't have damaged the rest of it. Like, these are just as high as those middle ones. I don't know. So, this craft is definitely not the fastest, most maneuverable. It doesn't have nearly enough um, get up and go. I could make a different version that's a light, because this is a heavy scout. This is a big, big plane. I could make one that's just a framework where similar engine style, but just a frame instead of a, a piped system. And then. Um, you know, less one cockpit instead of two, make a light scout. Okay, so we're coming up on the target. I want to slow us down and turn to the side here. I want to hit the left camera, Alt, and take a look. There it is. Okay, so they have one large gun on the top there. And that might be it. Let's back ourselves up a second. Nope, they've got two guns. I can see another one on the side there. And they're long range guns again, so it's pretty much. Yeah. Ooh. Those look like assemblers on the top there. Battery by the look of it, solar panels obviously, an antenna. Okay. And then what is that over there? Oh, a military installation. Oh, I kind of want to go see that. But I kind of don't. Um, I'm getting a little ways away from base, but let's go ahead and check that out. Let's, uh, let's drop down and keep low. I keep seeing ore patches too that I'm like, oh, I want to go check out and see what ores they've got there, but that's not why I'm out here. I'm looking to uh, scout out potential threats. Now, I am, as I said before, I'm definitely going to turn back on assertive installations, especially when I go traveling, because it's going to be make it more fun um, to, to try and get around under threat of fire. But I want to be ready for it. I don't want to just go in blind and get my handed to me. Oh, we are definitely too close. We are definitely too close, so I'm gonna skirt out a little bit. I'm gonna... Oh, do it again. Okay, good. I should have a good angle there. Let's try this. It's not as good an angle as I thought. Let's, uh, let's raise this up a little bit. I see it fenced off. I see a gun on the right hand side, there are trees in the way, but that's okay, it's just a quick scout, there's an ore detector on the top for some reason. Alright, and then there's a territory defense station off to that, that area there. So I'm going to head towards the sweet loot to avoid that observation outpost. Um, 
then I'm going to uh, hang a left to get back to base, and we're, we're going to head back to base because there's no need for us to be out here tempting fate too much. So yeah, I love this craft, I really do, but I definitely made it with like, I want it to have lots of stuff. So it's got the Gatling gun, it's got the guns at the front. So as a heavy scout, it can defend itself. A light scout is going to be much more Spartan. You know, one Gatling gun at the front just to give it some teeth if it needs it. Similar um, setup on the engines, but with a single strut, single block width of strut going around the outside. Around the outside, around the outside. Um, you know, similar donut shape. Probably some fixed um, landing gear rather than the system I've got set up. And even that, I don't really need. I just I like the way it looks. And, uh, at some point, we're gonna have to name this lake. Maybe we already did. Maybe in a previous episode I already named it. I don't remember. Just because I might want to take this out again at some point. I'm going to put this back on its little charging port. Okay, the uh, the Kestrel has landed. It's still intact. It's still intact. That's still intact. Yep, nope, I'm stumped. I have no clue why that got damaged when it did. Alright, let's go ahead and head over to the base to do my outro. I'm going to try and keep the outro a little bit uh, clipped from now on because I tend to ramble a lot while um, I'm saying goodbye and stuff. But I do appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. Um, go ahead and like, comment, share and subscribe. Um, you all have a good one and I'll see you on the other side.